morning. How to control the day, early morning. Welcome once again. Um, what to do the first thing in the morning, how to control the day. You should know how to control the day. When you wake up in the morning, you know you dream, you dream some dreams, you forgot them, you don't remember them. Maybe uh, you wake up, you feel sick, you wake up, you feel depressed, you wake up, you feel funny. Now you take authority over the day. You command anything that is operating this day, I bring you to my feet. You command every satanic dream that you had, you destroy them. You talk to the day, you say, you the day, hear the word of the Lord. I am controlling you. I am controlling you. You are on my hands. Anything programmed in you against me, I destroy them. Any sickness, any disease, depression, I am taking authority over you. I command you to die. You curse everything programmed in that day because you control the day. You remember you have been given dominion over that day. So nothing will operate against you shall stand. You, you say, you, hear the word of God. I am controlling you. You are on my hands. Any accident, any tragedy, any sickness, any diseases programmed in you, I destroy you. I destroy you. I bind you. I curse you. You will not manifest in my life in Jesus' name. That's how you control the day early in the morning. Uh, we are going to start early in the morning once again. Ember month is a month that we are going to face a lot of problems, a lot of tragedy. If we cannot take care of these three months, the month of September, October, November, that is the ember month where the devil is looking for blood to suck blood. He's looking to, to store the blood in their bank. And it is the, the month of witchcraft. In October, they are going to celebrate their day. So we have to prepare ourselves. And the Bible says we are not ignorant for their schemes. We have to know how to attack each day. Every day we wake up early in the morning and we have to attack anything programmed in the day. In the night also we have midnight prayer. We attack anything programmed in the, in the night. So we will make sure that we have destroyed everything programmed in the day, in the night, as, as the Bible says. Uh, let's look in the book of, uh, of First Samuel. First Samuel 1.19. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I come myself in the blood of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you, Father. I destroy and bind out anything controlling this day, this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy them. I lend them powerless. They will not manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I want to thank you for this day, God. This is the day the Lord has met. We will be rejoiced and be glad in it. No powers of darkness will hinder this day. Anything programmed in that day, I destroy them. Father, I want to thank you and give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, uh, I'm going to read from the book of First Samuel 119. The Bible says, Ari, the next morning, or early in the morning, Elkanah's family got up. They worshipped the Lord, and then they went back home to Lama. Elkanah had a sexual relationship with his wife, Anna, and the Lord remembered Anna. You, you see, early in the morning, Elkanah and his wife, his family, they went to worship God early in the morning. And that is where God remembered Anna. So if you want God to remember you, if you are looking something you need, you have to wake up early in the morning. So when they wake up early in the morning, maybe it was 5 o'clock or it was 4 o'clock. We don't know exactly the time, but it was early in the morning. So early in the morning, they, they said, okay, we have to go and worship God. After they worship God, they came back home in their house. Then Elkanah said, oh, let's make love. And the Bible says they make love 
and God remember Hannah. So you, God is going to remember you when you know how to control that day, when you know how to control the day that God has given you. Uh, this family, they knew, they understood the way the powers of that day is. That is the connection, divine connection. If you are looking something, wake up early in the morning, go to worship, go to, to the place of worship. If you have a room, one room, one bedroom room, leave your bed, go and pray and pray, speak to God. After you finish prayer, go back to bed. That's what the Bible says. The Erokana and his wife Anne, Anna, after they prayed, they went back home and they had a sex relationship. They, they, they knew each uh, Erokana knew his wife. So there is a powerful message that indicated that you can, you can wake up around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you go and pray. After pray, go back to sleep. Make love with your husband if you are married. If you are not married, sorry for that. But if you are married, go and go back and sleep and make love. That's what the Bible says. And then God remembered. If you have been looking for the womb, the fruit of the womb, this is the time you wake up. If you are looking anything that you need God to appear to God to help you, go and command the morning. Go and control the day. Go and control, speak to the womb of the morning. Speak to the womb of the morning. When you wake up early in the morning, go and pray God and go back to sleep. That is how it is. And God will remember you. The Bible says in the book of, uh, in the book of uh, lament, lamentation, Lamentations 3, verse 22 to 23, the Bible says, let the morning bring me a word of your unloving and unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. To you I entrust my life. So here the Bible is saying that uh, uh, this is the, the book of Jeremiah, Lamentation. So it's saying that let the morning bring me. You command the money, you talk to the money, how to control the day, how to control the day. Now you say, let the morning bring the word of unfailing, unfailing wrath. Let the morning bring, you, you talk to the morning, you, con you the day, I control you. Now bring me, let this morning bring me a word of love. Bring because I put my trust in you. And show me how to go. So you know when you, you control the day, the day will even cooperate with you and show you how to go. What to do in the day. The whole day when you wake up early in the morning, you start talking to you control that day. Anything that is programmed in the day, I command you to die. I am asking you that day, you the morning, uh, show me what how to go. You can even look at the sky and you command the sky. You say, you the sky, hear the word of God. Anything programmed against me in the sky, I destroy it. You look at the, the moon, the sun. You use, because early in the morning, you can see some of the stars. You can see the moon. You can see the sky. So you talk to them, that, 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 that moon and star. Because you trust God. And they can allow you, you know, they hear, they have hears, and they hear. Then let's look at the book of, uh, of Psalms 143, verse 8. The Bible says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceased. His masses never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. You see, His, his mercy has never ceased. And he renew every morning. His masses come to an come to an end. Never come to an end. They are renewed every morning. So the masses of God, God renew his mass every morning. That's why you come in the morning, you plead the mass of God. You say, God, have mass on me. Have mass on me. I've sinned against you. I need your mercy. I need your masses, God. Because in the morning, when you control the day, the day has mercy. You, you have built the mass of God. 
You ask the mass of God because the Bible says mass, God renews mass every morning. Now, because God renews mass every morning, so you are, you ask the masses of God. We need the mass of God. We need the grace of God. This world we are in right now, we need the masses of God. We pray mass of God appear to me, appear to our nation, appear to our people, appear to our president. I am praying for President Obama. I don't know why God brought him to me last night. When I, was, when I was sleeping, the Lord brought him to me and they asked me to pray for him. So I'm praying for Obama right now and I pray that anything planned to destroy his life, I destroy them and I pray that God in divine protection protect him. And you will hear in the news, I don't know, I have no idea, but God wants me to pray for him and feed him with the blood of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. I am spiritually feeding with the blood of Jesus Christ, with the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I am praying for Obama, USA president. Like two weeks ago, I was told to pray for the president of Zambia. I was given Kennedy count of Zambia, and I prayed for the nation. So right now, the president of Zambia is a Christian and is crying to God. I was so amazed when God told me to pray for that nation. I didn't know. But when I started praying, the Lord brought this president to me, yeah, the president of Zambia. So, as, as I, I'm talking to you right now, God is my witness. God told me to pray for Obama. I have no idea why he wants me to pray for Obama. So, I have to obey and you will see why. You will see why. God, God will, will show it up. In the next few days, you, you, you will see the news, what is happening to America. So, uh, also, we are going to set a day to pray for America erection. Because America, we are not going to watch America being destroyed, being sold by the devil. We will stand and pray. So, when we wake up in the morning, we will pray God is mercy to appear to Obama. God is mercy to appear to America. God is mercy to appear to Canada, to your country where you are. You pray the masses of God. When the mass of God is so merciful, God is so merciful. God is a loving God and is full of mercy. So when you wake up early in the morning, this is this in the morning, you believe the mass of God, masses of God, masses of God, mass of God. I appear to you. I fall upon our nation, fall upon my family, fall upon my children, fall upon my husband. You know the masses of, of God. When the masses of God is there, the devil will not stand because God has favored you. Even if you, you are, your sin is like blood, God will forgive you and, and, and his mercy is through the mass of God he will forgive you. When you humble yourself. Remember, the masses of God is renewed every morning. You may be done, you may, you may dance so wicked. You may be in a, a situation where you feel that God cannot forgive you. But his mercy renewed every morning. A woman was telling me that God would never forgive him, forgive her, because what she did. I, t I asked her, what did you do? You know, I have aborted 12 bringers, 12 babies, I bought them. I get pregnant, I remove them. I get pregnant, I remove them. Twelve of them. Now she's looking for a home for the child. She can't get babies. She can't be pregnant. So she felt that God would never forgive her. I told her, God renews mercy every morning. You go to God and ask his mercy. Go to God, ask his mercy because you did it ignorant. You did not do intentionally. Now you know you can't do that. Ask the mercy of God. Go to the nail, go to your stomach, go to the floor and bleed the mass of God. Remember, there was a man who was poor and crippled and very rejected person. He was a poor and blind person. When he heard about Jesus, he, he went there and cried so hard. Jesus, son of David, have mercy, have mercy on me. Just that, that, that prayer point. Then Jesus stopped what he was doing and they called him. His disciples and the other people tried to stop this man, but the man shouted loud and loud. So there is power of them, of, of them, there is power in the masses of God. This was Jesus, and the mass of God renewed every day. So you can still appeal to God and ask Him to renew you, to ask mercy of God. The Bible says in Psalms 30, verse 5, weeping may last through the night. But joy comes with the morning. 
You might be stressed. You might go to, to sleep with the pains, with the sick, with the problem. But in the morning, the joy comes. The joy comes in the morning. You will be happy when you know how to control the day. When you, you wake up early in the morning, you say, okay, I went to bed like this, but I know, according to your word, Psalm start verse 5, he says, I was weeping, but now the joy has come in the morning. So you, you have to be very happy in the morning. You command the morning. Morning you have come. You the day, you are a new day. In fact, the day starts mid midnight. So I think we are going to compare midnight and, and morning. So we will continue. We will we'll go from midnight, we go to one o'clock, even up to two o'clock. That's how we are going to, 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 to war against the, the day. Now, when you, you say all the day, hear the word of God. Thank you that you, have, you are here. And now I take the authority. I have been crying, I've been weeping, but now you have come. I must be happy. I must be enjoy. I must be, be rejoicing in the Lord. The Bible says, rejoice always again and again. Again, I tell you, rejoice. So you have to kiss the day. You say, the day, hear the word of God. I am here. I am controlling you now. I know that you are here and the morning is within you. You know the day and the morning and the evening and, and the night. It is within the day. Now, as you control the whole day, and the, now you are on the path of the morning, early in the morning. So you say, you are in the morning. Hear the word of God. I must be happy. Nothing will bring sadness on me. No, no bad news will come. I must be happy. I will enjoy. I will be excited. I will, I will do what I am supposed to do. My, I will do my work properly. Nobody will come to stress me. Nobody will come to curse me. I will be happy and rejoice in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Now you talk to your day, you talk to your morning, and the morning will hear you and obey you what you, have you are telling the morning. In Psalms, 20, in Psalms 92 verse 2, the Bible says, It is good to program your and." Loving and fearing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the, in the evening. So it is good to program and 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 fearing love. It is is good to, to to claim your love in the morning. If you are not if you are rejected, nobody loves you. Some people they are rejected right from the home. You have rejection rejection spirit. You this is the time you claim love. You destroy every spirit of rejection. You claim, you command every power of darkness to get out from your life. You say, I am now claiming love in the morning. And if my and effectiveness is in the evening. So you, you stuck to the morning. You command you that day. I must be happy. I must be loved. I need to love myself. I need people to love me. My, at workplace, I need to love. And my husband to love me. Do you know some people, they are married, but they never they never had any love. Not to make love sex, but the husband never loved them. They don't, they talk, they talk to them like garbage. The husband has never saw them love. They, it's only sex and that is it. People, some people, even they go as far as looking for somebody who can love them and show them love and take and deck them out and love them. Some women are married. They call me and they tell me this. I have done a research and I found out that is true. Even in Park Africa, you know, where I come from, men, our men, some of them, not everyone, but few, especially all time, more than one, they are better now. They could, they, you can't even work together side by side. A man is in front of you and you are following from the back. That's how it is. Yeah? Now, when I came to this country, because I used to like that, a man always in front and you are behind. So I used to do like that because that is how we are used to. And people was, and my friends were telling me, no, walk side on me. You don't have to walk behind me. I, I, I don't, behind me. So I said, no, that's how we are. I said, no. Now, when, when you come to know that some women, some people, even wives, a husband, there are some people who do not have any love. Nobody loves you. But in the morning, you talk to the morning, you did you the morning. 
you have come. I claim my love and loving love. I need love. I need everything in this day, everything in the day to love me. Everywhere I go, I need love. People will love me. People will appreciate me. When they see me, they will appreciate me. You know, when you are rejected, when you are not loved, even if you are what, when you go anywhere, people, they don't even see you. They don't see you in spirit. They see you like, they see you like rubbish. They see you like something else. They don't see you like a human being. So you say, am I smearing? What am I? Why is people are angry with me? Nobody likes me. Nobody wants to talk to me. What did I do to people? You ask yourself, then you get offended, you get sad, you find you find it so depressed, you depress, you press you you, de you get depressed. So you start you start worrying, you start thinking so negative, and then because of that you end up depressed. Because it is very bad. It is very serious when you you try to love people and nobody is loving you. It is bad. But when you talk to that love, when you command the morning, when you tell the day, I want to you to love me. And I need everyone to love me. I am loved person. No one will reject me. No one will hate me. I know that I love myself and God loves me. Therefore, I am commanding you today. I am controlling any evil, anything that does not want me, does not love me. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Let's look in the book of, uh, of uh, Mark 1.35. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> let's look in the book of Mark 1.35. The Bible says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary places where he prayed. So, Jesus, wake up early in the morning. I think early, when it is dark, it should be like 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Yeah, it should be 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. From 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock, that is the time when it's still dark. Jesus himself left the house and went to pray. So you have to leave the bed. In Canada or in Af uh, America where there's no winter time, we have the difficulty to go out. But you can mark a spot where you can, if you can manage, you can go to your garage to pray there. Or... If you have a car, you can drive to the place where you can you can get a solid a solid place to pray. And if you cannot do that, you can make a, a, an altar in your house where you can go and speak to their day. Because we have seen here Sam, Samuel Ericana, he left the house and went to the to the, to the place to pray, and they came back to house. No, now if there is a church, that's why we need to start a morning prayer service in the church if we don't have a church but still we can do in our house we have to get out from the bed and come out and start praying not in the bed you you are not going to pray while you are sleeping on your bed you have to come out from the bed if you have a place you can go to connect morning prayer fine if you don't have a place we will start prayer meeting morning meeting so we, we can get gather together you don't stay in the bed you have to come out and pray now Jesus left his house where he was sleeping. He went and prayed. He went to a solitary place. When I was in Africa, I used to have a place where I was work, work, working up and go to pray. I was praying there and I saw miracles, miracles upon miracles. That place where I was praying every day, honestly speaking, God is my witness. They, they say, church, I went there. When I went there two years ago, I went to see that place. I found a church built there. Now, next time when I'm going there, I'm going to tell them that I was the founder of this church. I was praying this place every day, every day for almost 10 years. I was going there to pray every day. During the 10 years, God manifested and I saw a lot of miracles. So if you have a spot where you can pray, do that. Wake up early, early in the morning. If you don't have a place, Get out of your bed, go to the kitchen where you can pray. If at the kitchen there's people, get isolated places and make sure you pray early in the morning. Or uh, 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 get out by yourself or wherever, but make sure you get isolated places. Some people, they have an apartment, they can't go out, but at least you will have a place where you can worship your God. If your family do not believe you, 
You can go even to the bathroom. You pray. If you don't have a bathroom, at least you can look for a place where you can sit down and talk to the day, take control of the day. Some people, they live with the other people where they don't have a place to pray. But God will provide a place for you to pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, I thank God that God is able to deliver you. Now, you are going to pray. You command the morning. You command the day. You look at how to control the day. Now, you, you call the day. You, ca you call this day. You call you the day. That is around 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, around 3, let's say even 2 o'clock. 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, during this time, it's still dark. You command them, you, you command the day, you, you say, you take the day. I throw upon every resources today in the name of Jesus. Anything, any resources in heaven, money, children, th good things, the heaven resources, I would throw you in the name of Jesus. I would throw heaven resources for you. I, I, I would throw heaven resources in the mighty name of Jesus. You say, I am would throw heaven resources. You need the heaven resources. You need to have the resources of heaven. Because our God is our, our resources. Now, when you control the day like that, you, you command the, the sources of heaven to come upon you in Jesus' name. Anything you are looking, if you are looking a job, when you are you are commanding the God to receive, to release his resources, He will give you the job. This, this that's how you, you you control the day. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. Now you control the day like saying, "You the day hear the word of God. The word says, I will be rejoiced and be grand in it. No demon, no powers of darkness, no evil shall come against me because the word says." I will be rejoiced and be glad in it. I shall not be, 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 be destroyed by the enemy. I shall not hear any evil voices talking to me. I must rejoice and be glad in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you say like this. You say you have to degree all the elements of that day. All anything that is programming the, in that day. You, you say every element of that day. I command you to cooperate with me. You command every element, anything operating in that day, that is working, with, that is favoring you to, to come to you, 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 to cooperate with you. You remember the scripture say the day will, 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 will direct you. The morning will direct you where to go. So when you, you command the day, you say the day, I decree that all the elements of this day, all the elements of this day, you today cooperate with me in Jesus' name. So you have to command them to cooperate with you. Very serious. I decree that this element of forces will refuse to cooperate with my enemy. So you command them, every element refuse to cooperate with my enemies. All enemies that wants to use these elements I command to you not to cooperate with them in the mighty name of Jesus. You speak unto the sun, the moon, the stars. You command them. You know, David says, the sun, the moon, the stars shall not smite you. There is power that will smite you during the day. So you command the day because you are controlling that day. You command you the sun, the moon, the stars. You will not smite me and my family. You command, you talk to them. Do you know some people, they can walk out and the sun will smite them, the moon will become against them. When the sun smites you, that's when people get accident or hit by the car or something hurt them. You go to a mall, you find people, people shooting each other. They start shooting people from nowhere. And then during that time, you find the gun is on your body. Or you injure yourself or you break yourself. So the sun has smite you. Now you command the sun, the moon, not to do that. Because they hear. It is, it is up to you how you use your mouth and how you control the day. So they will hear and they will not happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. You, you pull every negative energy planning to operate against you. You pull every energy. You know sometimes you feel like you are drawn. You, are, you don't have energy during the day. Something is sucking your energy. 
So you command them not to suck your energy in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for you. I praise God and I give God the glory and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank God so much and I give God the glory and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You pray like this. I dismantle any power that is uttering incarnation to capture this day in the mighty name of Jesus. I lend a narrow and avoid such a incarnation and satanic prayer over me and my life in the name of Jesus. That's how you command, you take control of the day. You, com you tell the day, let every, every battle in the heavens be won in favor of the angels conveying my blessings today in Jesus' name. You ask favor. Favor of God fall upon me in this day. I am praying the favor to fall upon you this day. You wake up early in the morning. So I am talking to you because I know we are going to start morning, early morning prayer. That's why I want to prepare to you that when we start this prayer, that's what we are going to do. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.broxport.ca or you can email to us, overcomersdh at gmail.com overcomers dhm at gmail.com our phone number is 905-487-7196 and also you can reach us to a free number that is 877-241-3420 call me if you need a prayers i will pray with you i am here to minister to you we are starting our 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 uh, overcomers deliverance school if you want to become a deliverance minister, you want me to train you how to become a deliverance minister, spiritual warfare. We start, our class is starting uh, Monday. So you can, the class, it is six weeks. So you, you, your life will be changed. You will never be the same again. You need to know, we have a package, how to know the witchcraft, red witchcraft, black witchcraft, white witchcraft, and how to hear the voice of God. And also what is, what is the deliverance? Who needs deliverance? This three package, it is going to change your life. You will never be the same again. That we have so many packages. If you want to take counseling, if you want to take other courses, we have them. And all these courses is based on spiritual warfare. Therefore, I want to thank God for you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Today, 7 o'clock uh, p.m. at our prayer meeting, we have deliverance. If you are around here, you are most welcome. We are in Brampton, Ontario, Canada, at the Civic Center at the library. 7 o'clock p.m. we will be having our prayer meeting. Thank you very much. God bless you. This is your host, Prophetess, Dr. Christine Isiki, saying bye-bye to you. Bye, bye-bye. God bless you. See you tonight, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. We don't have midnight prayer tonight. Or, I don't know, if, if I come up, God will have mass on me, or I don't know, but I will come on tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.